Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Ajay Kumar from the Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Mahashi Dayanand University, Rohatak, Haryana. Today, I am going to deliver the lecture on the module New Property Operations. That is an important topic for hotel housekeeping. At the end of the module, you will be able to make the list of the tasks that are needed to be done for setting up a housekeeping department in a new property. You will also understand the responsibilities of the housekeeping department in a soon to open property. And you will also come to know about the planning and organizing of staff, material resources and procedures to be followed by the housekeeping department in a new property. Now, uh, let us uh, talk about the concept of uh, new property operations. To get oneself involved in a new property in which departmental planning is still to take place provides the executive housekeeper an opportunity of influencing the departmental setup. Getting involved in such activities is rewarding, enlightening and challenging. However, one should keep this in mind that good results without planning is good luck, not good management. Now starting up housekeeping. In, in the initial phase of any new property, the housekeeping department consists of only one employer that is the executive housekeeper. The position of the executive housekeeper within the organization should be clearly defined because in many organizations the executive housekeepers remain as departmental heads only but many reach to the corporate, corporate level levels also. It must be clearly defined to the housekeeper that if he or she has to report to the room, rooms division manager, the, to the resident manager or to the general manager. Uh, uh, now, let us uh, look uh, the functions of a housekeeper in a new property. Following are the some initial steps that every housekeeper has to follow in a soon to be opened property to make the process of starting up the property smooth. First is finding your place. In several occasions, the executive housekeeper has to coordinate with other members of the exam organization. For example, for the uh, planning of manpower in his department, he has to coordinate with the human resource department and for the procurement of essential requirement or equipment, he has to coordinate uh, with the purchase department. Hence, it is necessary for him or her to know the different managers of different departments. He or she must also develop an understanding of the roles and functions of various departments and their significance in the functioning of the property. In turn, managers of the other departments also should develop an understanding of functions of the housekeeping department and the importance of housekeeping department in the hotel. By knowing each other's roles and functions, they would be able to develop effective coordination among themselves. The organization chart is a tool which helps the executive housekeeper in and the managers in knowing essential information on reporting relationships and coordination within the organization. Now, uh, one has to get himself acquainted also with the organization. This is the next task uh, or in the priority list of the executive housekeeper. Uh, now he has to make himself or herself acquainted with the new surroundings. He or she should look into the set of working architectural drawings of the rooms in the property. With the help of these drawings, he or she would be able to study the physical layout of the hotel thoroughly, which will in turn provide him or her the base for deciding on the scope of involvement needed and the various responsibilities which will come under his or her department and other departments of the hotel. These working drawings will also help him or her in on-site inspection and will give a fairer idea of the necessary minimum manpower needed to carry out the tasks. The executive housekeeper must also take a look at the temporary working area 
out of which departmental planning may begin. Now planning, organizing and priority recruiting. It is one of the most important tasks of the housekeeper. Hence, he or she should get adequate time into planning, organizing and recruiting. The executive housekeeper has to plan and organize for the manpower, designing of systems, formulation of procedures, determining the supply and equipment needs, uh, the establishment of the reporting and coordinating relationship within the department. The executive housekeeper should determine the essential qualification for his or her two principal assistants that is the deputy housekeeper and the laundry manager and he or she should inform the human resource manager of these requirements as soon as possible and on the basis of which the personal manager will place the advertisement and start the recruitment process. The recruitment should be done within 10 to 15 days after the placement of the advertisement because without these two managers the entire planning, organizing and staffing functions rest on the sole shoulders of the executive housekeeper due to which he is left with very little time for other supervisory and planning duties which are very crucial at this initial stage of any new property. Material resources. Uh, like any other departmental housekeeping staff uh, also needs certain materials to accomplish their tasks on time. The responsibility of making the arrangement of these materials lies on the executive housekeeper. Hence, he should plan for the procurement of the material resources before making the workforce ready for doing the task of the department. To accomplish this task, he or she should conduct market service to con know about the best supplies equi and equipment available in the market. While selecting the materials, he or she should keep in mind the needs of the hotel as well as the cost factor. The executive housekeeper has to coordinate with purchase department for procuring the various material resources like cleaning supplies, guest supplies, linen, uniform and various pieces of equipment. Now systems and procedures. At this stage, the standardized procedures for carrying out various functions of the housekeeping department are developed. The executive housekeeper with the help of his assistants must establish the standard operating procedures for reporting to work, cleaning procedures of various areas, safety and security and key control procedures. It is a very crucial stage since the results of the operations are directly linked to the procedures developed for example an effective standard operating procedure for cleaning of public areas will result in effective utilization of man and material resources. Before making arrangements for, uh, for induction of the employees one should also ensure that standard operating procedures, task lists and the duties and responsibilities of the specific positions are formally established. Division of work. At this next stage, the executive housekeeper tries to identify the responsibilities of the housekeeping department in the whole property. In order to achieve this objective, he or she should take regular rounds of the whole property areas while they are under construction. While taking these tours, he or she should pay attention on the location of the service areas and storerooms, which plays an important role in optimizing the whole process of housekeeping. On the basis of these rounds, he or she should make a division of work document. It is a document which consists of all areas and sub areas which come under the supervision of the housekeeping department and it also specifies the person to whom the cleaning of each area is to be allocated. This document comes into force only after the thorough review and approval of the executive committee of the property. This division of work document should also be sent to the other departments of the hotel so that they could also develop an understanding about the functioning of the housekeeping which will contribute in making the coordination with the housekeeping department easier. Now area responsibility plan. 
uh, this plan assigns the responsibility of the various areas specified in the division of work document and it also depicts various cleaning areas boundaries on a copy of the floor blue print plan. These boundary lines plays a crucial role in ensuring that no space is left unassigned and no overlaps in cleaning responsibilities occurs. A well distributed area responsibility plan is usually the result of the advanced thinking and planning of the executive housekeeper who has made multiple tours of the property while preparing the division of work document. After preparing this document, the executive housekeeper gives it to the hotel's executive committee which does the necessary amendment if they are needed and finalizing, finalizes it, organizing the new workforce. The next big task of the executive housekeeper is to develop the housekeeping department organization. He or she should make the departmental organization chart. It shows the relationship of various positions and the assigned responsibilities of the each position. The executive housekeeper decides upon the supervisors for various areas. For example, for floor supervisors, uh, public area supervisor, uh, desk control supervisor, uh, linen room supervisor and so on. Once the laundry manager is recruited, the task of organizing the laundry workforce goes on his shoulders. shoulders. He or she should also delegate the responsibilities of laundry to his or her subordinates. At this stage, the executive housekeeper must also plan for zero base budgeting, which means hiring employees taking into account the actual occupancy for specified periods of the year. Housebreaker The next major planning step that the housekeeper, executive housekeeper must undertake is the development of the housebreaker plan. In order to ensure maximum familiarity with the facility, it is highly recommended that the executive housekeeper personally develop the pictorial representation of the location of all guest rooms as given in the physical layout plan of the hotel. This is done by making a line drawing of the guest room portion of the hotel showing the relative position of guest rooms, corridors, service areas and other areas significant to guest room cleaning. Further, on the house breakup plan, the executive housekeeper should also mark the room sections of 13 to 20 rooms at a time which are adjacent to each other. This is done to ensure that individual guest room attender or GRA or a team of GRAs can be assigned to a particular section E. For convenience, uh, one, the room sections could be assigned numbers as well. Finally, the house divisions for supervisors is done and marked on the house breakup plan. House division consists of 4 to 6 room sections along with the associated corridors, elevated elevators, stairways, service areas and storage areas. These are done for the reference of the housekeeping department staff. They can be named according to the theme of the hotel as well. Now let us uh, talk about the workload of GRAs and supervisors. After finalizing the house breakup plan, the executive housekeeper decides on the number of rooms that should be assigned to each GRA and to each of their supervisors. The number of rooms that should be cleaned by the single GRA may range from 13 to 20 rooms per day. The executive housekeeper determines the number of rooms by keeping in mind several factors such as the size of the guest rooms, the type of guest rooms and the kind of fixtures, furniture and other contents in the guest room. Whether assignments are made for team cleaning or individual cleaning and so on. Now staff concentrations. Uh, this step is centered at the hiring of workforce. The executive housekeeper must ensure that all documents which play crucial role in management of workforce are in place before the completion of the recruitment process. For example, job description, 
position description and job specification. For keeping a record of the staff hired, the executive housekeeper should prepare the staffing guide and staff hired on the basis of zero based budgeting. He or she should prepare the staffing requirements for particular occupancy period in a tabular form for future references. This table is known as the staffing table and serve as the basis for achieving the objective of zero base budgeting. It acts as a reference tool for the executive housekeeper in preparing daily schedules for the housekeeping personnel. Orientation and training. Orientation is the process of reorganizing a new employee and making him accustomed to his department, job role and work culture. This process helps in communicating the organization's basic philosophy, policies, rules and processes. In this stage, a handbook is provided to every new employee of the organization, which puts light on the basic philosophies of the organization, policies and practices, rules and regulations, information on various departments of the hotel, benefits available to staff and staff safety regulations. The orientation program can be carried out by the executive housekeeper personally or may be done by the assistant housekeeper as per the wish of the executive housekeeper. Training is given to the new employees for developing the necessary skills required for performing the job task. It helps in improving the efficiency of the organization. At this stage, the new employees are supplied with the procedure manual, which encompasses the standard operating procedures of the job or the SOPs of the job task in simple words. The responsibility of giving training lies with the executive housekeeper, but he or she can delegate this responsibility to supervisors as well. Training is not a one time process, rather it is an un ongoing process since the employers requires different types of skills for carrying out the operations of the hotels at different intervals of time. Hence, the executive housekeeper must ensure that it turns out to be an ongoing process in the department. Now, scheduling of new employees. Once the workloads for various positions of the department are decided and duty rosters are planned out, the need of scheduling of staff like GRA, supervisors and housemen etc. to these positions arises. The responsibility of scheduling of new employees also lies on the shoulders of the executive housekeeper. While scheduling, he or she should consider the benefits of team scheduling because in the first weeks, the new employees are not confident in carrying out their tasks singly. Hence, team staffing can be applied in that situation. For example, a new houseman can be paired with another experienced houseman. This technique is also referred to as the buddy system. Now countdown. While inaugurating a new property, the housekeeping department has to fulfill certain responsibilities. The checklist of these responsibilities is, is as first is three months before the opening. The following activities need to be carried out three months prior to the opening. First is check where uh, he has to check the blueprints of the for the housekeeping department to check the layout of the linen and uniform rooms. Thirdly, to check the layout of the laundry, check the location and layout of the floor pantries and to check the layout of the different types of guest room. And he has to appoint a horticulturist in coordination with the human resource department and initiate the setting up of a plant nursery and greenhouse. He or she should also look into the purchasing of saplings and seeds. One should also consider the space allocation for all these areas in accordance with the total front of the house areas. He has to evaluate the function and maintenance of furniture and other hard services. Work he has to work in the coordination with the inter interior designers and architects to plan the indoor spaces. He has to carry out a market service 
to identify the best equipment, cleaning supplies, linen and gas supplies available and work out their costs. He has to coordinate uh, with the purchasing of equipment, cleaning supplies, linen and gas supplies with the purchase department. Keeping in mind the lead time available for the delivery of the goods, manpower planning needs to be initiated in coordination with the other department. He or she should also discuss uniform requirements and designs with the various departmental heads. Two months in advance means two months ahead of the opening. The following activities are needed to be carried out. First is fine tune the manpower requirement, hire only the minimum staff required, consider contracted services to compensate for a possible high turnover of staff at this initial stage of adjustments and learning. Consider contracted services and pass for poor pest control, flores and so on so that specifications, terms and conditions can be worked out. Consider the feasibility of these contracted services in terms of needs versus cost. Orientation and training of staff should be started on a continuous basis. He or she should also follow up the of uh, with the purchase department regarding the indented items and delivery dates 6 weeks in advance. When there are about 6 weeks to go the following activities need to be carried out. First is hire the necessary lower running st staff, uh, clean up all the newly constructed areas and carry out a thorough inspection before takeover from projects. Snag lids should be prepared for all the areas and snags rectified by the project team or the concerned staff. After the entire construction is over, initial act, initiate actual horticulture activities such as landscaping and gardening. Organize the storage of all items purchased. Work out systems and procedures, check the standard of operating procedures, then begin the purchasing of uniforms after getting relevant info inputs regarding the staff of all the hotel department. Then organize orientation and training for the new staff and continue the training schedule for the older staff. 4 weeks to go. With 4 weeks left for the opening of the, for, uh, for the, opening of the new property, the following areas need to be looked at. Uh, check all the cleanliness of all the areas under the housekeeping department's purview. Check the quality and quantity of all the equipment and supplies delivered. Ensure that lower rung staff have had basic training in handling guests. Move in and set up the departmental department physically. <coughs> Redefine and fine tune the systems and procedures as necessary. Begin the stitching and issuing of staff uniforms one week to go. Finally, a, a week in advance of the opening, the following activities must be carried out. Draw up the duty registers and schedule staff accordingly. Set up the relevant work areas and ensure their cleanliness. Work out a frequency schedule for the cleaning of various areas of the property. Constantly tour the property and be available to the housekeeping staff for last minute queries and changes. In the last, I want to say that the housekeeping department of a hotel is the heart of a hotel. It is uh, responsible for the cleanliness, maintenance and aesthetic upkeep of the hotel. The role of the housekeeping department are like food and beverage units or the front of the house department starts way before the hotel commences as a full-fledged operation. Hence, it is necessary for the executive housekeeper to know about in detail the various activities which are needed to be performed in a soon-to-be-opened property for making the future operations of the hotel hassle-free. Thank you.